Michael Burnett. Yeah, can you imagine naming yourself that? How embarrassing. I'm the Skate Ninja. Uh, oh, awkward. I mean, I was always interested in more than one thing at a time, right? I don't like skating only, I don't like movies only, I don't like stunt work only. So to me, I was like, oh, that was fun doing kickflips, now I'm gonna go off in the woods and throw myself off stuff. I hung out by myself so much that I was like, oh, people pro are probably doing this. Well, turns out no one is, and you are, by yourself. No. What are they gonna, wait, wait, wait. What are they gonna say? Congratulations, you have done it. Whatever it is, you've done it. You know, you know what I mean? In fact, I remember my friend Clint Walker, dude. I talked to him, I don't even know, maybe before I came on this movie, and I was like, I might just send out a sponsor me tape one of these days, and he was all, huh, cool. And for me, it's always been like that because I'm one of those people that I feel like I'm decently self-aware, so I know when something seems weird to people or something seems off, I was like, I'm gonna do these dudes a favor and not have them try and figure out what the is going on here and just kind of not deal with it. When I was a kid, I remember really liking, um, don't blank on me, Jeremy Klein. I remember a photo where he was awing a chair in a schoolyard, the high back of a chair, and I was like, that's a man right there. Dan Hobel. that dude should be just like in a wheelchair somewhere, but he's not. He's like 40 and killing it. I feel like I'm blowing it on the list. There's so many people. Oh, who's the guy with the uh, super long ponytail that could ollie over your mom? Donger, loved him, loved him. And I'm pretty sure he practiced Kung Fu. In my mind, he did. Ouch. Oh, my pops is a police officer. You don't get to have long hair. He's not having it. He's all. Is your hair touching your eyes right now? No. And he's like, yeah, it is. I'm gonna get your mom. We're gonna get the clippers out. And that's gone. That happened so many times that I was so bummed that first thing when I got out of the house, I just wanted some hair. Just once. I was cruising with that thing. And your friends, they feel bad. They don't really want to say anything. I'm that dude. Basically the whole thing ended up that the only reason I have one is because Richie got in there with me and so we started doing double duty. I would film him and he would film me and we would just like go back and forth because I really, he wanted a friend's trick in my part, you know? And so he just moral support time. So he filmed at least half of it. But then I go film him out in the street because we're filming a video together, so. I think that's crazy, for starters. When I was making it, you know the only thing I was thinking? God, it's sweaty in here, and if, if this place is so fancy, how come there's no fans? That's all I was thinking. Why are there no fans in here? I'm so tired. So, as awesome as I am, I couldn't even show up to the audition on time. I'm in Colorado, I'm trying to film with my brother, and they called me, we want you to come to this audition, you've been recommended, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so gnarly, you know, okay, I'll be there whenever, should I leave now? They're like, oh no, you know, super casual. It's like, all right. I barely run technology now, like how you work a phone, I'm okay with, but anything besides that's not great. And they ended up emailing me instead of calling me, and so they call me the day of the audition, and they're like, hey, you coming in? And I was all, coming in to, where do you think? And they were like, yeah, dude, you're cool. So I just missed it completely, right? I'm so bummed, I'm like, Spider-Man, yeah, cool. I pretty sure that would have been awesome, you know? Two months later, they call me up again. They're at lunch one day. Andrew, the actor in the movie, was there. He's like, I used to skate as a kid and I liked it and there's something about Peter Parker. I'd be stoked if he skated. Just even if he cruises between, you know, like in town or something, I just think it'd be cool to add it to that character. So what ended up happening, my friend Ilram's like, oh, one of my friends skates actually, and I wanted him to audition, you know, to be the Sun Devil, but I think he blew it and just wasn't there, you know? And so they just put on one of my videos. Andrew's like, let's do this, get him in here. Beginning to end, it was probably two years worth of full-blown, like, motion capture, three or four commercials afterwards. Oh, that's a tough, oh. Come on, there's like a hundred. I love cartoons. I will start with the most guilty play. Have you ever watched Jim and the Holograms? Girl show from back then. Fascinated by it, that it even exists. He-Man, obviously, Thundercats, G.I. Joe. I watch G.I. Joe now, like 1980s G.I. Joe. I don't know what years they were. And I'm like, these are good plot lines. I don't know. I don't, uh, maybe. Like, my, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing though. If I'm not doing something, yes. 
Yes, I will do it. Soon. I'm gonna start right now. Man, I really wonder if that's possible. Before I even looked back, the guy had karate chopped me in the throat. <laughs> he karate chopped me in the throat.